Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, Thursday's markets for European economy on the 5th of April 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at www.tradesignal.com and you can download the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay then, so we've had quite an impressive reversal overnight. Uh, you had US markets certainly uh, uh, zooming off the lows, that's probably the best way of explaining it, okay. Uh, I think the Dow was down almost 500 points one at one point, then it reversed almost 7 to 800 points or 900 points. And now the Dow's currently sitting above 24,400. Now I'll bring up the chart of the Dow, just give you the uh, the actual insight into the astronomical rebound. What a move, what a move. Very, very impressive. Okay, so you can certainly see that in the 60-minute chart now. So we're currently hobbling around the 24,400. Uh, we're hitting this resistance zone here now. Uh, this is a resistance zone that we're touching at the moment, 24, 4, 12 at the moment. So very, very impressive move. Okay, so um, certainly an impressive move. Obviously, the upside target is around 25,000, which is gap fill probably around 24,600. We're not too far off that now, but we are looking at resistance at present. Now, the trade war scenario is flat, certainly, certainly continues. Uh, Mr. Uh, Larry Kudlow really has no... Um, this individual really is an obnoxious uh, moron again. He's another moron. It certainly seems that morons attract morons. Uh, this idiot, I've been watching him on uh, CNBC for quite some time now. Absolute imbecile. have no idea whatsoever. He's been salivating for the position ever since. He has a hint of racism, a bit of um, uh, extremism, radicalism within, within him. Uh, even his uh, commentary on CNBC was really good, absolutely cringeworthy. Um, really, it's, uh, he has real no real understanding. Apparently, he downgraded the concept of the uh, trade war to a spat. Uh, well, to a proposal, sorry. Okay. So the fact that he actually attempted to downgrade the so-called trade war to a proposal, and and he was sort of he was attempting to claim that the the Trump administration was attempting to um, had no intentions of going through on a trade war, and really it was just to uh, create a certain bargaining move, etc. Um, now. Apparently, Mr. Trump claims that a, a trade wars are very easy to win. Then he tweeted out saying that we lost the trade war years ago. He just contradicts himself. There's no logic to his actual thinking or his policy making, etc. Other than uh, personal attacks, racism, bigotry, hatred. And unfortunately, it's sad that, I mean, obviously, you've got Facebook now, Data Analytica. They have the ability to exp manipulate and uh, sway public opinion in any direction they wish to the highest bidder. So... If you can control a nation just via Facebook, that certainly is very, very worrying, okay? Uh, Mr. Supo Zuckerberg apparently is some sort of saint, but in reality he's, he's selling the data off and claiming, making billions and millions. So, I mean, it just is, the whole thing is corrupt, okay? Um, the whole thing is corrupt from head to toe. Really, it's uh, it really is a sad time that we're living at the moment where uh, pub, uh, social media is really a use, tool used for propaganda and public opinion. You can sway that in any direction you wish, and you can make multi, multi million pound profit off that as well. So, Mr. Zuckerberg certainly has done well. He's been caught red handed, though, with data analytica as well. Um, the situation certainly is getting worse with 87 million uh, users' data certainly exposed and vulnerable, uh, and apparently uh, Australians are now suing him as well. So, the situation certainly is going to get worse before it gets better, okay? So, again, that certainly is risk off for the um, tech sector, in my view. I'm uh, certainly looking for risk aversion. Now, European markets certainly have gapped higher very, very impressively this morning, okay? Although, having said that, um, we have had uh, UK car sales weaker than expected, uh, German retail sales weaker than expected as well, uh, Ireland, Irish data certainly weaker than expected, and then we have the situation regarding the trade war still in the background as well. Just bear that in mind uh, also, okay? Uh, Chinese markets certainly didn't actually move higher. Shanghai finished red, uh, Hang Seng certainly finished down 2%, so just bear that in mind, although the Nikkei certainly rallied, so bear that in mind as well. Okay, in terms of the S&P 500, now again, I always trade the markets based on intermarket analysis. The S&P 500 currently is trading around 26.62. Uh, let's just have a look here on the 10-minute chart. Uh, 26.62, yesterday we finished around 26.40 zone. So you are looking at resistance around here at 26.60. And then you've got resistance at 26.75. So those two areas or two zones certainly will be facing resistance and looking to potentially move lower. Bear that in mind. Again, very impressive move. 25.50. We've rallied almost in excess of 100 SES points. That's very, very impressive. Very impressive. Okay. Again, like I said, you're facing resistance around this 226.60 zone. And 26.75. Okay, now let's move on to... Uh, 
the uh, German DAX, okay, German DAX, very impressive, a thrust of an excess of from 11.950, we've gapped up to 12.175, so 225 point gap higher, that's very impressive, okay, so we are looking into uh, setting all resistance here at the moment until we get to gap fill at 12.310, so certainly a no man's land on the 60 minute chart, having said that though, there is previous support equals resistance in this zone here, so let's watch out, okay, that certainly is a zone to watch out for. Let's just see if that can hold. And obviously you've got resistance here as well. So certainly in a zone, two zones of resistance. So looking for a potential reversal in the German DAX. Daily chart certainly has bounced. So we've certainly held that double bottom now at 11,800. So from my perspective, that really is your base. So if you do go back lower, to, back to gap fill, certainly is a buying opportunity. Especially given the fact that the trade war has been downgraded to just a proposal. I mean, these Dimwits, they have absolutely no idea what they're doing, okay? Absolutely no idea. Just totally clueless. Uh, either way, that's the status quo. We just have to deal with it as traders. We've got idiots in the White House that really have no idea with regards to policy. I mean, when they actually uh, hired Kudlow, that really was the, uh, the, the that really was a confirmation that this idiot, uh, really they are idiots. I mean, Gary Cohn, very, very respectable, very reputable, and they got rid of him, so... Again, it certainly seems that anybody who doesn't, who doesn't agree with them, okay, certainly is out the door, and that really isn't. That's not exactly Where's How can you call that toleration? How can you call that respect? I mean, it's just, there's no meritocracy there whatsoever. It's just a dictatorship. And anybody who doesn't agree with him basically is out the door. I mean, how many administration officials now have actually been sacked and, and moved on? Shocking, okay. His legal team even walked out because they weren't, they weren't listening to his advice. This guy really is, I mean, he just he really does de redefine the concept of a moron. Okay, so um, again, going back, no point ranting on about Mr. Trump. I think we all know he's an idiot. There's no point, uh, I mean, it just, but the reason why I do, even if I ever do rant, it's just that he shocks me even more and more. I mean, there's a level of, level of um, a certain uh, peak that you can reach, I mean, um, of idiocy and, 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 and moronic uh, potential uh, actions, but... This individual keeps breaking barriers. I mean, it's just like all-time highs on the moron uh, uh, index. Certainly seems at present, okay? So again, we've got tire. Impressive here on the French CAC as well. Uh, from 5.140 up to 5.230, almost a 100-point gap. You've got a gap fill out 5.240, so watch out there. Looking for resistance there on 60-minute chart. Uh, daily chart on the French CAC. Again, you're looking at gap fill around the 5240, so watch out for gap fill there. Okay, uh, using your diagonal trend line, let's see if we can draw anything. Nothing much there. Okay, let's see if we can draw a diagonal trend line that we can certainly draw for now. So looking for resistance. Having said that, double bottom has held at 5050, so you have to respect that support on the daily chart. In terms of euro stocks, last but not least, let's move on to the euro stocks here. Okay, so daily chart, the euro stocks. Again, we're coming into gap fill. Uh, on the daily chart, so you are looking for a reversal here at 5400 now. Uh, 10 minute chart at the moment, quite impressive uh, to say the least. I mean, your stock certainly has shown immense support, uh, immense uh, potential uh, bullishness. Again, we're into gap fill resistance here around the 3400 now, so I, I am looking for a reversal. Now, bear in mind you've got gap fill below, gap fill is around 3340, so. A 60 point rally in the year, year uh, 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 um, Euro stocks 50. I mean, that is very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Um, having said that, obviously, a Dow did reverse zone 800 points. So, again, looking for that gap to close now. Market will certainly will be vulnerable. Uh, certainly will act as a magnet to, to force price action lower. So, watch out below from that perspective. Okay, I think that's a good wrap. My obviously summation really is that we are into a bearish price action. We do have a, um, uh, a lot of European data out today as well, so we'll keep an eye on the economic calendar uh, in terms of the next potential move in markets. Now, obviously, German retail sales came in weaker this morning. Uh, German PMI came in weaker as well. French PMI has, has actually shown, outshone, so watch out there. Uh, in terms of uh, market PMI, certainly uh, we coming in weaker as well in the European markets, certainly coming in on the weaker side. Uh, we're looking forward to UK data, and then we've got uh, inflation data coming out and retail sales for Europe. And then you've got US jobs data, trade balance, and Mr. Bostic speaking as well, so watch out there in terms of the dollar index. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, of European indices. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs. So you take advantage of that bonus, and be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Goodbye.